about to go to one of my favorite places. I didn't realize it was one of my favorite places until Gwen told me about it the other day, like yesterday. We're going to the air show in Tucson. I don't remember the name of the Air Force Base, but I do know that I love air shows. I haven't gone to one for a little while. I went to one when uh, our kids were little and got rained out, but I remember specifically when I was in middle school, I went with my best friend, Thomas Nance. We went to a air show out in Woodby Island and we got to go see the Thunderbirds. It was amazing. There was a lot of other cool things too, but I just remember how those jets were going just right next to each other, side by side and stuff. It was so much fun. So, let's get going. Finally made it to the air show. There's a lot of people here. There's a lot of airplanes. But now we officially get to go through security. They didn't check us in and drove in or anything like that, but as soon as we get here, gotta make sure that I guess we have our see-through bags and none of that other stuff, and then we'll get to the good stuff.
So we just finished up at the air show today uh, down at the Air Force Base and it was super cool. All the things that they had going on, and it was super loud <laughs> and hot. Um, but it really is amazing out here because if you step in the shade, it's cool. Um, I think something interesting to pay attention to is the difference in, um, you know, a lot of times like the commercial airplanes will use autopilot. And obviously all these pilots who are flying and doing all these stunts are using manual, right? And when you compare that in life, I kind of feel like that's where we took our life in doing this, you know, step into RV life where manual <clears throat> is really RVing and autopilot is really being in a sticks and bricks and just doing the daily routine. And that doesn't mean that, you know, if you are in that type of life, that it is necessarily like that for you. But I think that it is a lot easier to be and so it's really interesting having the perspective of stepping outside of that and really living life. Like when we go out to do things, we're very intentional about what we want to go do. Or maybe, I, I mean that, but also like we want to go enjoy. We want to go show our kids the world. We want to, them to understand that it's so much bigger than them, but how much of an impact that they really can move mountains. If they just choose to step up and help out or step up and be a part, you know, of, of a effective community, that they can be that. So it was really neat to see the, was it called the Thunderbirds? Is that what they're called? The airmen, uh, men and women. They were amazing. And talk about taking you know, <clears throat> the wheel. It really, the things you can do in this life are so big. And I think being in the autopilot, you do a disservice to yourself and a disservice to your family and members in your community. You can do so much more. So I hope that you will challenge yourself to find your manual and go beyond what you think they are actually capable of. Let's see what you come up with. Like, comment, subscribe, and...